who is it whose words actually frowned C. Churchill, the Prime Minister of the British Empire, in his tracks? He was none other than the then President of France. For Churchill was surprised to hear that 200,000 French troops were preparing to surrender altogether. French support troops were also retreating. German panzers were about to close in, and the President was clueless and didn't even have a plan to counterattack. But Churchill was not angry. He tried to inspire the French to fight back. Because at this point, the German infantry was not keeping pace with the tank groups. It was the perfect time for the Allies to counterattack. The French, however, thought Churchill was crazy. And even the King of England, who had gotten the message, thought Churchill was fooling around. So on May 19th, Churchill made his first national proclamation. In this speech, he demonstrated unprecedented trust in the British and French armies. With powerful words, 